Hello and welcome back to the 10th lecture of the series on Firic Red Book 2017. In today's lecture, we will take a look at what we were unable to cover in the last lecture as far as section 8 goes. We will look at suspension and the clauses that govern it. So let's dive straight in. Clause 8.9 is employer's suspension. What this clause basically means is that the engineer upon the employer's uh, direction can instruct us contractors to suspend part of the works or in some cases all of the works. Why this happens is it's can, there can be various reasons. There can be budget issues. The employer suddenly does not have enough money until he sorts this out. He can suspend the works or the works undergo a major redesign. This can also be a cause for suspension. But we contractors must receive this uh, suspension notice in writing from the engineer. An important implication of uh, suspension is that during the suspension period, we contractors must ensure that we must protect and secure all of the works during this period. The costs, time, claims associated with suspension, we will take a look at those in the upcoming clauses. A simple example is, yes, for example, we are constructing a ceiling and the engineer or the employer or the designer suddenly decides that this is not the type of the ceiling that they want. So they want to change the entire design of the ceiling. So in this case, the engineer will instruct us to hold these works, suspend these works until the new design is issued and we can carry on with the remaining works. Clause 8.10 is consequences of employer's suspension. So basically what this clause is, uh, states is that if we suffer delay or cost impact, etc, etc, due to suspension, we are entitled to recovering these costs, especially if the cause of the suspension had nothing to do with us. It is very important to note here that during the suspension period, uh, we contractors must record all idle resources or any other impact that we are uh, incurring as a result of this in order to substantiate our claims. A uh, simple example is, yes, let's take the uh, same example. The ceiling works got suspended and we were uh, suspended for three weeks and we put in a claim. This claim will normally get accepted if we actually suffered losses as a result of this. Clause 8.11 is payment for plant and materials after employer's suspension. Slightly tricky clause. What this clause basically states is that, let's take an example. For example, we had ordered all of the materials for the ceiling that we just discussed, right? And the ceiling design has changed. So in this case, we will be entitled to the costs that we have actually paid for the uh, existing ceiling. So what this clause states is that the suspension of the works does not relieve the employer from his duties to pay us for the cost that we have incurred. Even if these materials are not delivered to site, even if this order for these materials is placed and they are in the factory already produced, we will be entitled to recover these costs. What this clause basically does is that it sort of uh, continues the cash flow and saves us contractors from losses. Another example is, for example, we have audiovisual equipment that we have already ordered and it is maybe delivered or not delivered to site, doesn't matter. And the whole fit out design changes as a result of which the audiovisual equipment also changes. We will be entitled to the cost that we will incur as a result of the previous purchase. Clause 8.12 is prolonged suspension. This sets a timeline on suspension, basically this clause. What this clause states is that if the suspension continues for more than 84 days, what we contractors should do, we should write officially to the engineer and ask the engineer, are we okay to resume the works or no? If the engineer asks us to proceed, we will proceed with the works. However, if the engineer does not respond to our notice within 28 days, what we contractors can do is we can write to the engineer that we don't want to do these works anymore. We can sort of terminate a part of these works or in some cases, if the suspension governs the entire project, we can also terminate the whole project. So what this does is it protects us from being suspended indefinitely and having our resources and uh, money tied up in the project for a long, long, long period of time. So yeah, this is a fairly important clause. Yeah, like I said, it protects us. It's, this clause is meant to protect us contractors. A 
let us say we were doing facade works in a building and these works were suspended for three months. The employer had, for example, budget issues. We contractors will issue a notice to terminate. We will tell the uh, employer and the engineer, fine, we will build your building, but we don't want to do these facade works anymore as a result of uh, suspension under clause 8.1. Clause 8.13, I think, is the last clause, which is resumption of work. So if the engineer asks us to resume the works, we should resume the works as soon as practically possible. The notice for resumption must come in writing to us. It is a responsibility of us contractors to ensure that we prevent further delay upon resumption. We should resume the works and restart as soon as we possibly can. Let's take the same example as before, facade works. Let's say the works were not terminated, but we got a notice to resume the works. Remember in the earlier clause, we said that the responsibility of protection and securing of the materials during suspension is our responsibility. Now, upon receiving the uh, notice to resume, there will generally be an inspection of the plant and materials. In this inspection, for example, the engineer finds out that some elements of this facade were damaged during the suspended period. We contractors, will we will have to rectify and make good these uh, materials at our own cost. With that being said, this was nice and easy. That completes section 8 of the Fidicred book. We will come back with a lecture on section 9 very, very soon. Until then, take care of yourselves. Happy building.